Assalamu alaikum. I am Taiba Machidwani. I am from International Islamic University, Malaysia. I am under the supervision of Professor Teddy Surya Gunewan, and I am going to present the paper titled as Multilingual Speech Based Gender Classification Using Time Frequency Features and SVM Classifier. The paper ID is 105. So these are the contents I'll be discussing in my presentation. Firstly, the abstract of the paper and then a brief introduction and, the, and then the methodology that has been implemented to carry on the experiments and the results obtained and finally the conclusion drawn. So this is the abstract of the paper. Actually, this paper deals with the gender classification. We propose a pre-processing technique using different methods like fast Fourier transform, autocorrelation, filtering, etc. that are applied on the speech signals of both males and females. We use the features based on time domain as well as the frequency domain and classify them using the support vector machines. The features are extracted from the speech samples which are taken from two databases, the German dataset known as Berlin Emotional Database and the second one, the Hindi database which is known as the IIT Kharagpur. So this is the introduction. Speech is the most efficient mode of communication among the human beings and also a potential method for the human computer interactions. Human speech is unique in nature as there is nothing around in terms of the sound that is like speech. The, the way we produce the sound of the speech is unparalleled in complexity and from times and thus it, uh, it's hard for the speech perception and the production of the speech. The study of the speech using the various techniques is called the speech processing. Speech processing involves the manipulating of the speech signal to change some of the basic characteristics of the signal or to extract some information and important information from it. Speech processing is implemented in various applications such as speech recognition, speech communication, speech compression, speech synthesis, etc. Among all these, speech recognition is considered to be essential method and an imperative one. As speech consists a lot of information regarding gender, age, emotion, etc. One of the important application is gender classification. Well, there are a lot of works that have been carried out uh, in gender classification for identifying the gender, and mainly uh, the feature pitch is used for the classification. In this paper, we have used the classification based on the support vector machines and using the frequency as well as the time domain machines. This is the methodology that we have implemented uh, for carrying out the experiment for the classification of the gender. Firstly, the speech signals undergo the pre-processing, which involves the acquisition of the input, the normalizing or the silence and the noise removal. Then the signals are framed in order to perform the fast Fourier transform, which involves the conversion of the time domain signal into the frequency domain. The output from the fast Fourier transform is convoluted with the coefficients that have been generated from the Gaussian window technique. And from this, we achieve the absolute power of the signal. The features are extracted based on the power extracted, which is present at the different frequencies. Also, we use parallel domain frequency, parallel time domain processing in order to obtain the set of features which would form the autocorrelation on the time domain signal. The overall feature extraction technique is based on the key features which are around the fundamental frequencies. For the males, it's between the 80 and the 175 hertz and for females, it's between 175 and 255 hertz. The time domain features as well as the frequency domain features are combined and are trained and using the support vector machines, they are classified. The support vector machines are best suited for the binary classification and they use the hyperplane to distinguish. So these are the results obtained. Firstly, we use a multilingual database, the multilingual data, multi-language database, the one German database and second, the Hindi database. 
from German database, we have taken 93 male samples and 107 female samples. And from the Hindi database, we have taken 103 male uh, speech samples and for female, 97. The total, therefore, the total speech samples taken are 400. So this, these are the free uh, power spectrum of the male and this for the female. These are the autocorrelation signals in the time domain for the male and the female. So these are the tables that have been, these values have been uh, achieved by using the SVM classifier. These are the frequency domain features and the values for the time domain features, the F1, it corresponds to the power component of the male and F2 corresponds to the power component of the female. The F3 is the total sum in the frequency domain. We have then T1, it is the power of the male component and this is the power of the female component and T3 actually is the maximum amplitude of the autocorrelation output. And these are the actual samples and the predicted one. Actually, we obtained a threshold here on the signal strength based on the signal strength at the fundamental frequency which correspond to the male and the female. Based on this threshold, the gender is identified. These values actually depend upon the recording environment and the other parameters, and thus it can't be taken, and thus the, uh, can't be taken uh, for all the speech signals. Therefore, we take a combination of time and frequency domain features that are trained and classified using the support vector machines. And for the Hindi data, uh, Hindi database, we got an accuracy of 83 percent, and for the German database, we got an accuracy of 81 percentage. So this is the conclusion of the paper. We have actually used a new pre-processing technique for the gender classification using the frequency and time domain frequency, uh, time domain, uh, time domain, and as well as the frequency domain processing. We use the two databases, the German database and the Hindi database, and a total of 400 samples. And by using the support vector machines, we achieved a recognition rate of 83% for the Hindi database and 81 for the German database. Uh, a very uh, humble thanks to the government of Malaysia for providing uh, the funding for this research. Thank you.